you know, you just want to be able to go, okay, I'm going to practice my G scale um, degrees patterns, whatever you want to call them, one, two, three, and seven. And you just do that for like 10 minutes right. each day. -da 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 -da, you know, done. Okay, and then when I'm going to bed, I'm going to recite in my head the key of C and the key of G, the chords in those. Okay. I, that's all I care about. I don't care about anybody else. So I'm going right. to recite in order, in order, and think of them in your mind. You know, we've got right. C, D minor, E minor, F, G, A minor, B diminished. And then I'm going to recite G in my head, G. A minor, B minor, C, D, E minor, F sharp diminished. I'm going to get okay. those two dang things down in my head so that when I sit down to the guitar and I'm trying to write a song, right? I'm like, at least I know. And I'm not thinking, I'm not going with my hands because we write songs with our hands like this, but we want to write right. it with our brain a little bit, you know, right. and go, okay, I'm going to, and even if you just go, I'm going to jot those two keys down, but da, 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 and write them out so you can see them. And then you're like, what can I borrow from each key? Right. Okay. And that's just C is right at 12 o'clock noon. Right. And then G is one tick over at one o'clock. So, and, and, and if you think about it, like on the, on a clock, G is at noon. It has zero sharps one o'clock has one sharp sure two o'clock has two sharps that's d sure. but you don't have to look at a book you don't have to pull out a guitar nothing you just right you're like sitting there and going okay i'm just going to remember c and g 